A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh kindly allow me to look at the infallibility of prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam some people claim that prophet muhammad was a sinner uh, due to the misinterpretation of some verses you understand and the verse which we want to dissect tonight is quranic chapter 93 verse number 7 you understand in surah al-duha verse number Seven, which says that wa wajada kawala and fahada, and did not God find you astray, and He guided you? Some people based on this verse to claim that therefore Prophet Muhammad was a sinner, was not an infallible person. Before we can answer this, we saw, you understand, that Shaitan himself promises, promises to mislead all the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, besides the pious ones. In Surah Al-Hijr, verse number 39 to 40. And also Surah Swad, verse number 82 to 83. From there we see that all the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are infallible. For instance, in Quran chapter 2, verse number 124, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promoted the prophet Ibrahim, to the greatest position of imama. You understand? We see Prophet Ibrahim praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That qala wa min dhuriyati. And will, all, and will you also grant this position of imama. You understand? To my offspring. Because we said that also Prophet Muhammad is from the descendants of Prophet Ibrahim. Alayhi salatu wa salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answers him by saying that Qala la yanalu My promise of electing prophets and also imams, the leaders, divine leaders, does not reach to those people who commit sins. Because we say the word zulum can mean sin in Quranic chapter, in Surah Atalak verse number one. What we want here is number, what we want here is one. Prophets and imams never sins. Shaitan himself, as we saw, promises to mislead all people, save the pious ones. I cannot say that the pious one, Shaitan is promising not to mislead is me. Automatically, I should be a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as we saw. From there, we come back to the verse. You understand? In Quran, in Quran chapter 93, verse number 7. Wa wajadaka Allah and fahada. And did he, God, not find your astray? And then guided you. What's the meaning of the word dhalla here? You understand? Dhalla means what here? It means what? Because some people conclude by saying that therefore here, Prophet Muhammad was a sinner. He, was, he had gone astray. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided him to the right path. Some Muslims misinterpret Quran like this. We said some verses... They are so difficult for you to understand. In Quran chapter 3 verse number 7. The only one to understand them is only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And those deeply rooted in knowledge. Those deeply rooted in knowledge, we can't say these people who like misinterpret Quran, some of them. The people deeply rooted in knowledge are the Ahl Bayt alayhi salatu wa salam. Those people with knowledge of all the book, as we saw in Surah Ar-Ra'ad, the last verse. Therefore, this verse does not say that Muhammad was a sinner. Number one, we said that Quran is like a lake. One verse may be having several meanings. Several meanings. Number two, if you just take the outer meaning of the verse, then you, you're totally confused. You will, not know the, you will not know the inner meanings of some verses. There's what we call Butun al-Quran, the inner meaning, the inside part of Quran. I think those people who, stu uh, like, uh, who learned the science of uh, Holy Quran can tell. Some verses... I've got different meanings which cannot easily be known to some people 
is only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Prophet is pure lineage. Whom Allah made following and loving to be mandatory. Quran chapter 42 verse number 23. That's why we also find Khalif Umar saying that Laula Ali, la halaka Umar. That if Ali was not there, Ali ibn Abi Talib, if Ali was not there, I could have been destroyed. Umar himself saying, Khalif Umar ibn Khattab. Therefore, the pure lineage of Muhammad are the only people who know some complicated verses. The question is, what's the meaning of this verse here? Did God not find you Lala then and, and then he guided you? What's the meaning of the verse in Quranic chapter 93, verse number 7? I said, if you take this verse and conclude that the Prophet Muhammad was an astray, you are lost. Why? Because we find the same Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying that Muhammad has never been astray. In Surah Najim, Quran chapter 53, verse number 1 to 2, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about it. That ma dhalla sahibukum wa ma gawa. Ma dhalla sahibukum wa ma gawa. You understand? That your companion Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, has neither gone astray. You understand? Has never, that your companion Muhammad, has neither gone astray nor nor does he committed any error. You see? The other verse is saying that did God not find him astray and guided him? This verse is saying that Muhammad has never been astray at all. He has never committed any error at all. I think you can see now, brothers. The question is, what's the real meaning of the verse? The real meaning of the verse. You understand? The real meaning of the verse, the word dhalla, it can have two meanings. It can have a positive meaning and a negative meaning. For instance, saying that the ring was lost, there is no any negative connotation the statement that the ring was lost. The question still remains, what's the real meaning of this verse? Because we have agreed that prophets don't commit sin. And we have said that this verse is saying that did God not find you astray? And he guided you. And another verse in Surah uh, Najim, verse number one to two, it's saying that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, has never been astray, has never committed any error at all. According to, what's the real meaning of the verse? According to Imam Rida, alayhi salatu wa salam, the Shia, the Shia eighth Imam, you understand? And Abdullah ibn Abbas, and Abdullah ibn Abbas, they interpret the verse. You understand? In a right way. By saying that did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not find you lost among your people and guided them to you? Did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not find you, you understand? Not find you lost among your people and guided them to you? It does not mean that Muhammad was lost, but in the community where Muhammad was living, majority of the people were lost. The verse doesn't mean Muhammad was lost. It means in the community where Muhammad was living, majority of the people were idol worshippers, were fornicators. You understand? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Muhammad to guide them, those lost people, all those people were guided due to the message of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallama. Therefore, that's the right meaning of the verse. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala found your people lost in that community you were living. When you went to them, he guided them because of you. That's the real meaning, as we've said. In conclusion, Shaitan himself promise, promises not to mislead prophets. For us, the Shia Ithna Ashara Muslims, we believe from the beginning, even before the prophethood of prophets, they are infallible. 
you understand and when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to promote them to the position of prophethood or imama then he still keeps them safeguards them from the plots of shaitan we looked at that in certain hijri verse number 39 to 40. even logic says that you cannot be led or you cannot be guided by a sinner we have got over 500 verses emphasizing contemplating and thinking. Let's not just take the outer meaning of the verses and we conclude. Once we say that Muhammad was a lost person, we shall be helping the enemies of Islam in order to keep attacking us. We have also said that the verse, Quranic chapter 93, verse number 7, وَوَجَدَكَ اللَّهَ لَنْ فَحَدَ Did God not find you? astray and he guided you we said this verse does not mean that muhammad was was a sinner maybe he was astray maybe he was an idol worshiper no because we see a similar verse in surat najim verse number one to two answering that well you understand that ma walla sahibukum wa ma gawa you understand that your companion Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has neither gone astray nor committed any error. You understand? Then I find a brief. The real meaning of the verse says Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam when he was sent by Allah to guide the people, the community he was sent in, those people were idol worshippers. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided them due to the message of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallama according to Imam Allah and Abdullah ibn Abbas that's the right interpretation of the verse. Kindly share up to the last person. Inshallah we shall keep answering those shubuhati that all of prophets were infallible not sinners. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.